Whether you bit off more than you could chew on your daily workout or that spring cleaning has you twisted up, we wanted to know what are the best ways to treat a sore body. For that, we turned to chiropractor Dr. Allison Coffin from Align with Wellness in Yarmouth. She showed us a few stretches and answered that commonly asked question, do I ice or heat those sore muscles? So the first thing um, that most people have in their house is heat and ice. So um, when the first 72 hours of pain, so the first three days, ice is what you use because you don't want to bring more inflammation to the area by adding heat. Always ice in the, for, in the very almost beginning? Almost always. Okay. Yeah. So almost always put ice on it because if you put heat on it, you think you get more blood to the area, more inflammation, and then you get hurt. So 72 hours of ice, how long should you then apply the heat? And if the pain hasn't gone away, at what point do you realize maybe there's something more serious going on here? So then you can do you can do alternate heat and ice after 72 hours. You do only do it for 20 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. And the best kind of heat is a moist hot pack. Mm -hmm. So uh, instead of the dry ones, you plug in just a moist one that has water attached to it. It penetrates the muscles deeper. And then if you continue to have pain for over seven days, you should definitely be calling somebody because that it should have gone away. Yeah. You brought in a device here. Yes. What does this do? This is a muscle roller. You can use it if you have overworked yourself a little bit. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> A good one, a good one you can do is on your back, and then I'll show you how to do it on your legs. Okay. You right. just t it's like kind of like a toothbrush for your muscles. Why don't you demonstrate it on All right. Amanda? I'm I in. shall. I'm okay. In. So you just um, you take this. Oh. We'll show him. You just roll it on the muscle groups Ooh. in your back, and it usually feels pretty good. And you only have to do it for like 15 seconds. Okay. Like right in through here. And How's that, that feel feeling, fine? Amanda? I mean, you could do this for an hour. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and then also sometimes, like if you're whatever activity you are doing, if you uh, lift or run, you can your shoulders will come up like this when you're running. Mm -hmm. Go so, on. Yeah, so <laughs> go on. So right, right up in through here, going through the base of your head, and then down like this into your shoulder blades. Oh man! And you don't even have to have a friend do this for you. You can do it yourself. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. So you just take the arm and just do this. It feels awesome. All right, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and buy one of those. Okay. <laughs> and then there are stretches you mentioned. Yes. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, when you sit down, you can stretch. Yeah, so people usually have a lot of um, pain in their back and then their glutes, they call it sciatic pain. And so a good way to stretch this out, your piriformis muscle, you cross your leg over. And then you see how your leg is up like this? Because I'm not flexible. You take this hand and you push it down and you'll feel it in your glute. Feel free to scream in pain. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, <laughs> if you don't feel it, you can take this leg and you hold on to it with, the, with your hands like that. And then you can pull it up towards you. Oh, God. It's only, Can I? It's, only, it's only if you don't feel it. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I do feel it. It's fine. <laughs> what we're talking about in terms of you know, starting to get fit again or if you're having trouble once you've jumped into fitness and you're feeling some aches and pains, so much of this goes back not to you know, lifting weights or running 10 miles. Yeah. It goes back to flexibility. Completely, yes. So flexibility is huge. You've got to make sure that your body is moving properly before you jump into anything. And, um, you know, you should stretch at home, you should mm -hmm. stretch before you do stuff, and you should stretch after you do exercise. That absolutely needs to be a core part of your physical activity. Correct. Like, everybody should be stretching every day. And you can, it, like, even if you are bound to a chair, you can still stretch. You can still sit in the chair and stretch your leg. You can still raise your arms over your head and stretch side to side and get your whole body moving. It's really just an important part of life, flexibility, make sure that you can live. Well, at New Center, we're not at the point yet where they actually bind us to the chairs, but we do spend a lot of time in our we chairs, do. do we not? We do. We, we spend entirely <laughs> too much time Wait, in our and, and hunched over looking at a screen, right. too, which is even worse. Right. I, every time she comes in, we all, yeah, we're her like, posture okay. automatically gets better. Did you ever get one of those rollers, by the way? No, I Did didn't. I forgot that? about that. I need to go get one. Here we go. Dr. Coffin was in our studio with warm-up stretches and advice on good posture, posture recently. You can learn more about what she has to say in the 207 section of our website.